Hi guys, you may be wondering why my hair looks like this. I'm about to tell you. I'm currently three and a half months post or three months post and some days. Yeah, three months and some days, that's more accurate. My roots are beginning to become a bother now. So most persons who are a certain month past, they tend to say that they focus on the ends and not the roots, but I don't know how they do that because for me, I have to comb my hair. And in order to do that, the roots have to be detangled. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my hair section by section. I've done my hair section this into two, two separate parts. I've already done this side. And what I'm doing is using water to moisturize my roots and a mineral oil based moisturizer that I have here. Yeah, you may be saying, oh my god, mineral oil isn't that like bad for your hair and stuff like that, but yeah it is, but it depends on how you use it. The reason why I'm using this mineral oil based hair lotion is because you guys will see I previously uploaded a video on this um, Yenagia or Yenagia hair cream, hair lotion. I found it here because I could not find any moisturizer for African um, hair or person of African descent here. And it was working well the first time. I knew that it contained mineral oil, but I was like saying, you know, persons use mineral oil products and they get away with it. But yeah, like after the first week or so, my hair became like dirty and stuff. It only gave my hair shine and not enough moisture. I wasn't getting any moisture at all, so my hair like started to break. So I thought to myself, isn't water like a form of moisturizing your hair is like spritzing your hair with water. So I started to do that by just experimenting. So one day I like spritz some water on my hair and then I placed the hair lotion over it and my hair felt moisturized like you know it started to look supple and nice like it looked on the first day. So I started reading up on the net about it because I found Amazon.co.jp the Jap Japanese version of Amazon sells moisturizer that that I'm used to like cream of nature and stuff like that but they don't sell my moisturizer the perfective one so I have to change my moisturizer I'm going to go back to olive oil even though I hate that moisturizer the ORS is the only one that doesn't contain mineral oil I saw optimum that has mineral oil I saw Pantene I was shocked to find out that that contained mineral oil sorry and there was um, organics Nature's Organics or that, that other brand that seems like olive oil, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's, they have the shea butter and um, shea butter and tea tree oil moisturizer. I, I've heard some very good reviews about that one and I almost bought it. But I did some research on the ingredients and the main ingredient in that moisturizer con, um, is a carcinogen. I know that the parabens are in practically all of the moisturizers that we use but I will not buy it if it's listed as like a first ingredient, right? So I ordered the ORS um, hair lotion, so I guess I'll be using that with uh, my olive oil for sealing. And guys, I got this extra virgin olive oil here and it's been really, really amazing. Like, as I just use it to like for sealing but I find that it makes my hair so much easier to detangle so yeah but I will update you guys on the stuff that I'm about to introduce into my current regimen when they arrive okay so basically back to what I'm doing and why I was using this sorry guys for getting off track but that's a bit of information that you can use if you ever run out of moisturizer and you're stuck with one that contains mineral oil so it's basically how you can use moisturizers that have mineral oil in them, but it's basically how you use it that determines what your hair gets from the moisturizer, okay? And I would advise that you do it as a last resort. Don't do it like if you don't have to, because for me it is a last resort right now. But I'm basically 
doing this because I I want to infuse my hair with moisture overnight while I sleep not basically because I want to get curls I'm not doing this because I want the curly look that comes with doing bantu knots I just want my hair to be very moisturized so I'm spritzing the roots and detangling it and it's working very well so far that's a major shocker so if you're going to do this you need a spray bottle this is mine and ensure that the water that comes out it's not like a heavy spray but it's rather a mist look at this see it's like a light mist so my hair isn't like drenched with water and it's not totally damp okay so I'm going to do the front of this side so you guys can see what I'm doing hopefully I'm just gonna do try and do like two from this side because it's very uncomfortable to do it in front of the webcam so I can't even see what I'm doing Okay, let's try it with this one here. So get this out of the way. By using a giant bobby pin. Okay. So before combing your hair, you want to spritz it because it's already dry I haven't combed it for like two days so just spritz the root first and work the water the water droplets so your hair kind of feels a bit moist but not damp and then you do the same thing hold the bottle away from your hair because you don't want to damp the hair you just want you don't want to soak it you just want to make it a bit you know a tiny bit down okay so that feels okay the root here needs some more yeah that feels like it so I'm going to put this and the front of my hair is shorter than the rest because I I did some bands like a few months ago well I attempted to do bands so I use this much, put it on the root, right, work it into the root of my hair. And I know so many persons on here have videos with new growth spritz and stuff like that. I'm just being innovative guys because I don't have all of those ingredients that all those persons use. So yeah, I basically work. So I think I'm basically what I'm doing with this moisturizer is I'm using it to seal the moisture from the water in my hair so that's why I'm not using an oil because the mineral oil itself is gonna be sealing in the moisture and I'm gonna wash my hair like in the next two days so this isn't something that you should do every day because you know mineral oil tends to build up on your hair so moisturize put it along the length of your hair to coat your hair the end feels dry yeah. So that's what you want to do, and then very gentle, guys. You can you're gonna see how much I baby my new growth because you don't remember the line of demarcation. You don't want to cause any breakage at all. So go really gentle. Okay, and I normally start from the end up, but this isn't that you know tangled so I go right for the roots and the front of my hair is not that tangled so it's easy to go through okay and I proceed to twist it in this direction don't do it too tightly because you don't want to pull put too much stress on the hair and you know cause your hair to be drawn out from the roots so, yeah. and if you're Jamaican you know what we call this we don't call it bantu knots we call it chiny bumps 
Yeah. I think at least every Jamaican girl something like this in their hair. Okay. So that's one. I hope it. Okay. I'm gonna have to bring it back because. Yeah, but I just did that one as an example to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. I don't want to make this video too long. So, you can repeat the process and I'll show you the results tomorrow. Let me show you the back. For the ones at the front, I use my finger to finger part it. No, I use a comb to finger part it because the front of my hair is detangled. It's not as tangled as the middle or at the back. So it's easier to manage, so I use a comb. But the ones around, like this section, where my hair was really tangled, I used my fingers because I didn't want to put too much stress on my hair, okay? So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll show you the results tomorrow, I guess. Even though I'm not doing it for the curls, I'm just doing it so that my hair will be well moisturized. And when I'm finished, I will be tying my hair with my silk scarf and that will be that for the night okay so thanks for watching and bye hey guys so as promised here are the results of the the bantu knots that i did last night or the shiny bumps as we call them but i didn't manipulate them much i just allowed them to like that you know you can like pull them out and I mean like unravel it if you want it depends on the look that you're going for but I really didn't do this for style I had to go to the post office um, to send off some documents so that's why I ended up taking them down so this is the result and I kind of like it it's a big change because it makes me look like I have short hair and I didn't cut my hair without cutting my hair I kind of like styles like those that allow you to you know shorten your hair without actually cutting it so this is it I don't know what's going on with the lighting here cause it just got a bit hold on I'm going to turn on the light That's it from the side and from the back. So I'm thinking of just to maintain this until I'm ready to wash it, which is like going to be in the next two days. I'm going to repeat the same process without combing it, but just moisturizing it and re-rolling them, re-roll them tonight, okay? So I'd just like to say thank you to, I think I recently had two new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm just curious, what do you guys do um, when you have new growth or when you're stretching? How do you handle your hair or your texture? Feel free to leave the comments down below and thanks for watching. Happy growing. Bye.